class uh, welcome to IS 451 I'm professor Fahmi Jalani uh, we'll be covering today chapter 7 uh, topic today will be local area network or LAN okay let's go into it okay as we all know uh, LAN or local area network is where uh, device are connected in a small area for example um, it has been used since 1970s so the primary function we have here is uh, um, primarily is to access the internet uh, file sharing uh, printer sharing and email things like that Take a look at the diagram. Uh, here we have a uh, two local area network uh, where local area one and two uh, could be in different place, and they are connected through switches and also uh, via router connected to the internet. Some of the advantages. Um, you are able to share, uh, like I mentioned initially, uh, software, hardware, um, in this case, uh, for LAN, if one workstation breaks down, uh, there are other workstations to use. So they are quite fast and there's a minimum error. Next we take a look at the disadvantages. Um, cost is one of them. Uh, I do say that you need to maintain and uh, and there's different types of uh, packages that to consider. We'll take a look at that. Next later on. Uh, next we take a look at the uh, types of network. Here we have a uh, bus or tree. Uh, it's the first uh, uh, conventional connect uh, connectivity or topology uh, where they use uh, an IC a network interface card where it's basically a physical card that is connected behind the desktop via uh, uh, cable or coaxial cable and you can use uh, broadband or baseband for the connectivity as shown in this diagram okay uh, your workstation uh, connected through a line uh, with the printer and so on uh, the next diagram shows the card that will interface card uh, which is basically embedded inside your terminal and from there quicksand cable is connected um, and also using uh, T, T join tab as for the bus or tree here you have the base baseband signal uh, is traveling in bi-directional So, uh, in terms of broadband, is uh, unidirectional. The next figure it shows an uh, example of broadband. Uh, here we have a splitter uh, from bus 1 to bus 2, and it's subdivided by bus 3. Um, Next, we have a different type of topology. Uh, we have here is a star. Uh, logically, mentioned here it looks like a bus, but then it's basically a star. Um, like a star um, is attached to the hub in the middle, and then from there, there are branches out. Uh, use uh, UTP, unshaded twisted pair. Show the diagram here. 
where the hub is going to be doing a you know mixing shade and silver and some printing around. Here we have a mixture of it, okay. Uh, star and local red network. Uh, and here we see the printer as a star and a hub. The system here is a star, and also we have a small star also being disconnected by a bus. As for the star white bus, okay, um, it's modular and better to install, uh, easy to install and easy to maintain. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, uh, it's connected by twisted pair, coaxial cable and fiber optic in some aspect. Uh. Disadvantage is uh, it's one station top only, uh. so everyone here. So you can multitask at the same time uh, if it's shared network. Next, we have a uh, medium access control. Um, here we mentioned that uh, it takes turn okay, to transmit the data. As for contention based protocol, uh, we have uh, first come, first serve, which is uh, um, CSMA or CV. code detection um, also we have uh, let's say for example uh, two workstation transfer at the same time we will take a look at the example later okay. so when two workstation here collision they stop transmitting each station backs off at a random amount of time and hopefully both station can do not try again at the same time okay let's take a look at the diagram Both station transmit at the same time. There's a collision, and then it will wait. Okay. Next, we take a look at the switches. This uh, diagram here shows a switch uh, where they connect most of the workstation. Uh, it's a simple hub. Okay. And the function is to connect. All the workstation uh, from the workstation to the network interface card to the cable into the switch. The diagram here shows uh, how the switch function uh, connected between two LAN. Also, here we have another example. As for the switch, uh, uh, the diagram here shows the internal port table so port A, port B, empty, and port workstation work 1, for example, uh, is differentiated as 1, and workstation 4 is 1, 4. So, uh, like we all know, uh, multiple workstation uh, could be connected to the switch. Simultaneously, uh, here we have uh, a diagram showing it from the switch and then through to the hub. So, um, how you isolate uh, traffic pattern and providing multiple access? Okay. Here you see illustration of it. Uh, all the four workstation are being managed by the switch into the server. Next, we take a look at uh, duplexes, full duplex. Uh, the advantage of full duplex is to eliminate collision. So we have like two pairs of wire, one to receive, one to transmit. Okay. So
so we have a uh, virtual land uh, virtual land is basically uh, it's a human it's a virtual land but uh, in virtual reality but it's uh, in physical it could be a star right? and you can um, configure it virtually uh, via software and you can eliminate any workstation as you like uh, using the software uh, without taking out or unplugging the cables next we have a uh, link aggregation where you are allowed to combine two or more uh, to have a uh, one high speed thing uh, it's IE triple E through protocol A02.3 AD2000 next we take a look at a uh, spanning tree algorithm um, Here they say that uh, due to the large network, okay, uh, this loop is created like a circle and will technically return to the original uh, device. Uh, over here we have uh, the physical um, loop to be there in place but then logically is to be removed uh, this basically it's like virtual land and um, signal are routed to the nearest port okay, or the nearest route as for quality of service okay, uh, we have the IEEE 802.1p standard that is for video conferencing and a 2.1p uh, adds three priority bit uh, the PCP values uh, 0 to 7 <laughs> let's take a look at why internet uh, like we all like we covered earlier in the previous class um, so it's a very common feature uh, star or could be bus topology is very uncommon today uh, depending on the medium uh, C, CSM, CD is 10 megabits uh, today we have 100 megabits um, as we progress um, now we have nearly 40 gigabits for high-end switches and it's basically used as uh, the networks today uh, here the diagram you see uh, the, the different types of uh, cables speed and length to be considered so we have the power of uh, over Ethernet uh, it's quite common uh, again this one is the OSI model uh, or TCP IP model <coughs> so the data link layer is uh, broken into two part logical and medium access control layer uh, which is 10 to the base T uh. Uh, A02.3 uh, frame format um, here we have preamble for the diagram here start of frame uh, byte destination 6 byte source destination data line data PAD and checksum Um, next we have an uh, example of a uh, um, situation where there's a 20 workstation in one room and a 15 workstation in the other room to a central server how is it connected uh, with, re with re requirements like email, database and printer um, 
in one room they will use a uh, cat six and the other is also a cat six and to be connected between the two land we use a fiber optic and this is different uh, communication modified because we have a uh, fiber optic with this uh, server here and also router to the internet and t1 Okay, that's pretty much it for the class uh, for local radio network. Uh, there's a part two for it. Um, if you have any question, please uh, email me uh, or drop by uh, to my office. Uh, please stay safe and thank you very much. Bye bye.